In just a moment, Joe Amaral, who's here by my side, uh, he and I are going to have a talk about this book, uh, The um, Mystery of the Shemitah. I thought it'd be interesting for us to react to the question, what is the mystery of the Shemitah? As uh, the author of the book, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, answers it. Here's the author, the rabbi, and what he had to say. The mystery of the Shemitah is a uh, over 3,000-year-old mystery from the Bible that lies behind everything from the rise and fall of the economy, the rise and fall of Wall Street, the um, rise and fall of nations, the rise of kingdoms, and the fall of empires. Uh, it actually determines or has marked the times of the greatest global cataclysm, shakings, World War I, World War II, 9-11. Um, it uh, actually gives dates, specific dates, um, down to the not just, you know, the day, the hour, the minute of the greatest crashes in Wall Street history. It's an amazing mystery from God, and it also gives the time parameters of end-time events in the Bible. So this has been affecting our lives from the moment we were born. It is affecting, and I, I have no question it will affect in the days to come. So um, in a nutshell, it's a biblical mystery that is so precise that it gives the timing of all these things um, and it is also it can become a warning of things to come you know Joe when you and I are looking at the reliability of scripture we're looking at as he just said the things uh, the things that are to come as we look at the importance of prophecy as we look at the Word of God and look back over mm -hmm. historical accuracies. Mm -hmm. what, what the rabbi has done here is he said, look, you, you go back and just spin yourself through all of these 3,000 years, three millennia of, of, of calendars yeah. in, in Israel's history. There is a routine, a predictability, a cycle of seven years and 49 years, seven mm -hmm. years and 49 mm -hmm. years. And you land in and around those dates when those come to a conclusion within a year or so, and you've got major, major historical events that have happened even up into contemporary mm -hmm. history. Yeah, you know, and the question people should be asking themselves is, you know, how does this relate to me? You know, th this is something that was written over 3,000 years ago. And as a pastor, as an itinerant, I know we hear this all the time, all oh, the Bible is so outdated and its views are old. Oh, Can it really still speak yeah, to and us And Khan today? is saying the opposite. He's saying the opposite. He's saying it's, 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 yeah. it's as, as contemporary as last month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's saying, okay, it might have, you know, the, the, the command or the this ordinance was put in place 3,000 years ago, but it still speaks to us today. I mean, I, I think I'm an okay preacher. I think I'm an okay speaker. But I don't know that in 3,000 years from now, that people are still going to be studying my word. And that's one of the beautiful things yeah. about the word of God that's right, yeah. is that it doesn't get weaker with time. In fact, it gets stronger with time. That's right. Because who could have predicted such things would happen? Who could have foreseen such things that they would correlate in, in the seven year pattern? Only God could do when, such things. When thing. we think of you, we think of someone who has a great love for the Bible, the Old Testament, uh, mm -hmm. for Israel, yep. and for the Jewish people. Yes. So from that perspective where you have expertise and great respect, mm. Talk about where he looks back and he says the, the, the chartering of Israel by the UN in 1948 mm. can be found in this seven year, 49 year yes. cycle. Yes. The, um, the six day war That's where right. all of these Arab army, armies are surrounding Israel in Attacked 1967. Israel. That's right. Six day war in June 1967. And he says that lands in that cycle. He says that 9-11, the mm -hmm. downing of the towers, landed in that cycle. Yeah. He says that the stock market crash of 1929 that launched the Great Depression landed in that cycle. Yeah. He says that the, the, the stock market crash of 1980, uh, in the 1980s when Reagan was president of the United States, that was in that cycle. Yeah. The 2001 crash, the 2008 crash. And even to what we have now and what happened in China just a few weeks ago. Exactly. We had this 40% drop in, in the Chinese market, which is the economic champion of the world. Happens in this cycle? Yeah, you know, and I'm sure, I know why I did it first. I was looking at this going, I, I don't know, that sounds like a real stretch to be able to correlate all yeah, those Yeah, and you know what, and, and you, none of us, especially here at Huntley Street, we don't want to do anything that looks like it's, quote unquote, playing games with scripture. No. The, 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 the call of God upon our lives is to great. But what I, what I could not uh, get over is that this has been so widely read by, by really bright people right. who, who are looking at this, and we're talking people who aren't uh, 
um, empty headed, right. uh, filled with mush, if you will. These are <laughs> folks that are smart and look at this and go, because yep. ah, you and I have talked to some top notch scholars Absolutely. in the last few months as we mm. were vetting and looking at all this. Yep. And their responses are, you know, I don't know about 100 percent, but there's a lot there's here we need there. to look at. Yeah. I mean, Rabbi Khan got to stand before Congress during the days of Harbinger and the early days of the Shemitah, you know, the mystery of the Shemitah Harbinger book. was his previous book. That's right. And he was invited to speak before Congress to warn the American people, saying, guys, we're turning away from God, and you can't do that without judgment coming. And so for me, when people ask, well, why should I read this book? Why, why should I call Huntley Street today? Why should I ask for a copy of this book? Because it's important to, to realize that God doesn't, do these things for no reason. He puts a pattern in place to protect us because if we know judgment is coming, that helps us to understand yeah. that we need to repent, that we can turn from our wicked ways. And if we do that, God says that he will heal us and he'll heal our land. A small percentage of this book is what we might call predictive or looking to the future. Less than 5%. But it, it's small percent and even what that percentage is, is I'd call it soft predictions, safe predictions. Right. There's no date setting, if you will. But what he does so beautifully is he looks back and you go with almost shock and awe. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at the, 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 accuracy the accuracy of these historical realities that have happened. You and I said earlier, two plus two is four. Yeah. You may want to argue with that, but two plus two is four. Yeah, the accuracy and, and the consistency. You know, and I, I, I'm a teacher of the Old Testament. I teach about the Feast of the Lord and the Feast of Israel yeah. from Passover to Tabernacles. And even in those, God said that he would use those things as signs yeah. to warn us and to protect us. So we as the church, we as believers can, can take the things, the keys that Rabbi Khan has put in this book and they can help us to look forward to what God may or may not do. It doesn't matter if it happens exactly when, when people think it's going to happen. The point is this, be ready and be open to whatever it is that God wants to do in and through your life. This is an intriguing read. We want to encourage you to get it. It's called The Mystery of the Shemitah, uh, the 3,000-year-old mystery that holds the secrets of nations and the world's futures. Mm. We want to get it into your hands.